Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Michelle. Today I'm going to be sharing with y'all something that is new to me. And since it's new to me, I would like to document it as well in case I ever have this issue again. But we purchased a couple of goats and one of them just kitted and she has absolutely no milk. We squirted the teats and all that came out was a clear liquid. And so I was doing some research and one of the reasons could be mastitis or another reason could be a mineral deficiency and knowing the area that we are in our goats tend to be deficient in selenium my vet at one point gave me a prescription for vitamin e selenium b12 thiamine and b complex and i am going to give this to the mama goat as well as to the baby goats just because um, if she's deficient, chances are the baby goats are deficient. This can cause the baby goats um, to have side effects from that, such as their um, legs not working and just them not being healthy and thriving. So I am going to fill up some syringes with some of the medication and um, take you all along with us to go get them some shots. I don't know if we can call this providential or not. I was at our local feed store the other day and I bought this lamb and kid colostrum replacer and part of me did it was because we're testing our goats um, but also I like to have this on hand in case something ever goes wrong when a goat is kidding and they can't feed their baby or just then we inherit an animal from someone people sometimes call us and give us um, kids and we take them in and they need colostrum and we already have it on hand so I have some here I also had some in the freezer but we're gonna mix this up and feed the babies as well I'm gonna squeeze her teeth just to make sure she doesn't have any um, colostrum. Yeah, it's watery. I'm gonna give y'all a close up of what's coming out here. See that? It should be a thick yellow, and it's not. If she would have had colostrum, it would have looked like banana pudding, just not as thick, more on the runny side. The liquid that came out was also clearer than milk. This is typical of a goat who either weaned her babies and it still has some fluid in her bag or a goat basically before kidding, but also it could be from having mastitis. She didn't have mastitis because I felt her teats and I felt her bag. There were no lumps, it wasn't hot. There just wasn't anything that just felt out of the ordinary. And second, she just kidded, so there clearly should have been um, some colostrum in there and she also didn't just wean a kid because she was pregnant and Now she has her babies and I went ahead and did some research to try and figure out why my goat is not producing colostrum and also Not milk and some of the reasons that I was able to find were the first one is a goat can kid early And it just prevents certain hormones from kicking in and causing a goat to be able to produce the colostrum And instead basically nothing happens because it's like the goat is still in pregnancy mode now, The second reason I found is the goat might not produce colostrum or milk due to mineral deficiencies It's really important to be aware of your area and just know like what other homesteaders or farmers struggle with um, you know whatever there's a lack of in the soil and you can learn this the easy way by asking around or you can learn it the hard way by struggling with your own animals or you can have your soil tested as well as your animals tested through the vet I have not had any of my animals tested but I do think this is um, gonna end up being an option I seek out just to know exactly what deficiencies my animals struggle with and I think having a relationship with a veterinarian will allow me to have um, certain medications um, prescribed to me to be able to administer to my goats. The third reason I found is going to be a parasite overload. If an animal has parasites, 
the parasites will prevent them from being able to absorb vitamins and nutrients that are naturally in the foods that they eat as well as the minerals that you're providing i checked my goat and we do the famacha test which is where you pull the eyelid away from the goat and you look to see how pink it is or how pale it is and you score them um, based on uh, what you find you can easily look up the famacha test so we had already touched on you know, a lack of minerals can um, cause a goat to not produce um, milk and colostrum. So this is something you want to be aware of, you want to treat your goats with. There are many options out there. There are loose minerals, there are paste, there are medications that you can have prescribed by a vet. These are a little bit um, harder to get, obviously, because you have to have a veterinarian um, you have to take your animals in and sometimes they'll want to run tests other times they're really experienced vets and they'll just look at your animal and be able to diagnose what the issue is which is i feel like what our vet did with our goats we had taken one in and he realized right away what the issue was and prescribed us um, this medication that i administered and the fifth reason that I found was sometimes you have first time fresheners, which is basically an animal that will have a baby for the first time. And for some reason, things go wrong. And so people like to give these animals a second try to see if the next time they have a kid, if they're able to um, overcome whatever the struggle was. And it just so happens not producing milk and colostrum for their first baby is normal. I do know we have a goat who had a baby and the baby was completely deformed and we have not had any issues with her other kids that she has had since then. I did notice when administering these shots that, that the goat seemed really uncomfortable, so I am assuming that um, these shots are a little painful and there's probably a sting from the medication that I injected into them. The babies were little troopers. They literally got only 0.1 ml You'll notice the kid that my daughter was holding and trying to um, encourage to stand up would not get up. He didn't seem to have much energy or strength, so we ended up deciding to bring him into the house and watch him overnight to see if um, we could encourage him more and keep him warm in the house. We're still having cool weather at night. We were concerned that the mama goat would not accept the baby back when we brought him back out if we were able to, but it was just a risk we had to take because he was not doing well. He's gonna get up. To help out the mama goat, I mixed up some molasses into some water. I think I put probably like a quarter cup to two quarts and I took that out to her and let her drink it. Because she wasn't producing colostrum, I wanted to give her some extra energy to help her pass the placentas. It got late and dark out, so I'll share more of an update on how these goats are doing and how um, the medication helped them or didn't help them. I will see y'all in my next video. Y'all take care. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications of every time I post new videos. Bye guys.